Hi guys, what's up? Boom, but hope on video on the channel. So today you may be realizing something about my iPhone's home screen. And also if you want to know if you already subscribed to my, well, follow my TikTok, it's Jacko the Best One. Was it all one? I don't know, guys. Just, I'll, I'll put it at the bottom of the screen right now. There we go, guys. See if you want to go and follow that. So, anyways, guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own thumbnail. So, I've got my YouTube stuff. I've got, like, my recorder, which I'm not using right now. I don't really use it on my iPhone. I've got iMovie, my editor. I've got Fontal, which is the thing that we will be using to create our thumbnail. I've got YouTube, obviously. And I've got YouTube Studio, which is the thing that we'll use to put a thumbnail on the front of the video. So... The thumbnail that I'm making today, I will be putting on the front of this video, so, so yeah. So first of all, you want to download Fondo on the App Store and YouTube Studio if you haven't already. So we're on Fondo. Now you might get, you guys might upload, you might just might come in with a white screen, but my settings are on dark, so like I like my dark screens. So yeah, first of all, what you guys do, like, you may think it doesn't really look like you can do much here, but like, you've got this down here, which I don't know what they do, that just sounds. So if you want to create a new thumbnail, you probably just want to be doing plain image. You pro you're going to click on this. First of all, you see that button that says 2048 times 2048. You want to click on that, and each time you create a new thumbnail, it, this is, it has to be 1280 by 720 because that's the size of the YouTube front cover of a video so what you want to do after that is you can pick colors if you press on colors you can like do that you can do that for the some of the bottom you can do that for some of the bottom do that for some of the bottom as well you can do that for some of the bottom so like I'm just gonna make one real quickly Let's just so and first of all you can also just pick like that there. Uh, I'm just gonna use these real quickly. You can just use that. That's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm just gonna use that. I'm just gonna try and make a turquoise colour because I actually I do like turquoise. So what do I use there? 150, so you can like just do that, 155 and 233. So we're over. 55. What was it? 2. 223. <coughs> Let's press them plus buttons there. So yeah, then this one does that. Yeah. We'll do the same thing if you want to do <coughs> Two thirty three again. Hi. Hi. Thank you. Recording a YouTube video. Um, sorry about that guys, my dad just walked in. So wondering what I was doing. Don't do that on the page actually. I don't know what they offer. If you want to if you turn the offer down it'll change that to like that to square, but I don't want to do that. Actually, I'm just gonna do this. One fifty five. No, I'm not sure if I do this. What I am going to do though. Get this up to 223. Just like that. <coughs> so, 
yeah guys also if you do already have a cover save like i'm just going to press save on this so if you go into here if you used this app before you will already have color save like that was like the first thumbnail i tried to do for a lego lamborghini video if you haven't seen that go watch it it's really cool so this was the original one i did but i didn't want really to use that thumbnail because it had red so i used the pretty much the same color as the car so now i've saved it so like you can use already saved if you want to use them again yeah so i'm just going to be using this one for this video so let's press apply if once you're done or on that and press use so now you'll see that you have this now what you want to do this is what this is what i'm gonna do so i'm gonna make i'm gonna be making the thumbnail for this video obviously uh -uh. So I already have like a font applied for me, like you can use different ones. So I kind of like to use like different fonts for this one. Because it is kind of like a tip that I have seen of some people. Not really a tip, but like I just think it looks cool. So I thought, why not do that? So. Let's do how. So obviously, I'm just going to turn the size up on this because that's like literally tiny. So you can also tilt these as well, which is how, which is what I'm going to do. So do is next use this because this is like kind of like a nice one so make two so this is obviously going to be how to make a thumbnail this one this also like to make just want to put simply in a can you use one that I've already used like um did you it? no that doesn't go with the style of it they kind of are looking, see if you scroll on, like, you can like just do that. So we're kind of looking for like messy kind of things if you know what I mean. You might not, you might, you, you always don't. Basically kind of things that are like scribbled. Not like things that are like straight. Great vibes, that's a good one. Okay, that's kind of fitting the style. I'll make that a bit smaller. That's actually bigger. No, I do not like the font. <coughs> oh, I didn't even know you could do that. You can just... Oh, that's actually good. And so I'm just going to turn the sides up a bit. And make a tilt. Also, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna move these along a bit. Right there. But it makes these look like they're all stacked on top of each other. up I 
Oh wait, that's actually went out the pattern. Because look, that's on its minus part as well. So if I want to follow the pattern still. <coughs> now that has to be... Just have to make that a minus eight. Now I have to make this like a bit of a tilt up to the side. <coughs> now this is on. Also I need to change the font of this. Messy and what the hell? What a question. That's just very messy. That that is that just that just examples my handwriting. Um, my handwriting not that. Okay, that that one's not actually that bad. I kind of need more of a tilt. There we go. I'm just going to make that man. Now the last one. Make a different font. Pig. Why is there a one called pig? There we go. Quirky nuts. Um, iPhone. If you guys do one out of four, or just add it. Just press on the admin image but what i want to do is i want to go into safari so i want to search up for iphone 12 there we go oh that's a perfect photo so what you guys can do if you want to you can just hold in the and press add to photos. So let's go back on the front row. Do you see that guys? You can easily just select that. I don't know, that's thick. Um I'm gonna change that height. There we go. Size. Hello? <laughs> There we go. And also, what else you can do? I haven't explored every feature on this. I'm going to press add item. Now, what you can do here is... Oh, look, it literally says here. Wow. So, you can do it here, guys, is literally... You could press any of these. Like, if you do have, like, an extra... Like, let's just... Until that take that you see that's locked like you need, like oh you need to buy an add-on for that like you have to, to get different certain things so like i'm going to say guys <laughs> 100 subs if i could actually edit that i'd change it to 100k subs but whatever so yeah let's just get us to 100 subs after that you can press on color that, that's kind of like a toothpaste that's kind of, it's a bit too greeny. I think it was better than what, what it was before. There we go, choose test. And also change the size, like the, yeah. 100 subs guys, that's what we, bye bye. There we go. Try so now guys what you want to do is you see that button in the bottom right corner you want to press that then you want to press save image then it will press then it will say save so get off that app go into youtube studio now you do need to sign in your youtube account on here so what you guys want to do you want to go into videos now you want to click on a video 
Now you want to press that big pen in the corner and then that thing there. Now you, if the custom thumbnail, if you've never done this before, probably won't be like really like a little white, like might not just be a color gray. So you need to press on that, verify your account. So like, I'm just gonna press on this now. I know this isn't the video I'm supposed to do. Then press select and press save. It'll press saving changes. And then look at that, guys. It'll come up with that, it just needs a bit of a refresh. So like now, if I just, I just don't want it to be like that, so like. It's gonna be like that, no. But if like, you can't, if you can't figure out how to verify your account, then I'm sorry, you just can't do this. But like, if you do figure out, then you can't do this. But if you do want to change it, like for a different one, you'll have another two different options. So let's press it on that. Then it'll change it to that. And you might want to do that. So like that's how you do it. So that's gonna be it for today's video, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.